Hi all you lovely people, so today is going to be my December haul. I've been shopping quite a lot for myself which is really bad, but now there is no more shopping for myself and it will be for everyone else. So if I do another haul it will be gifts that I bought for everyone for Christmas. So I'm going to start with accessories, then move on to clothes, then move on to makeup. So the first accessory I got was this bag from Warehouse. I absolutely adore it. It's a classic bag. It's um, a grey off cream colour. And it hasn't got any compartments. It's just quite deep inside. You can see that. And what I love about it as well is that it comes with this handle, oh, this handle, yeah, this strap. So you can really either have it long and just as a long across the body bag, or if you want, just put it under the arm and then you're ready to go. I like the fact that it's quite varied, that you can wear it in many different ways. If you've got heavy stuff in your bag, whack the strap on. If you're feeling quite light and dainty, then just put it under your arm and you can like walk along, if you walk along like that. So I absolutely adore it. I've also got it in black, but my mum's got it at the moment. But I like the classic colours. I'm starting to really buy things that are going to last me for a while. Not really things that are definitely on trend, but things that I know that in a year's, two years time I'll still have. And this bag I will definitely have in two years time. What I like about it as well is it's got gold buckle detail. And it's just a nice size. It's a nice size bag to have, so definitely get it. It's from Warehouse. I bought it recently, probably about two weeks ago. And the reason also I'm going to do my hauls, I'm not going to do it straight away once I've bought them, because I think it's better that if I bought them, then I try them out a little bit, and then you can decide if you want it or not. Because just imagine if I've just bought it, I'm like, oh my god, I love this bag, and then the next week the strap breaks or something's wrong with it. So I thought it was definitely good to try it out first. And this bag is definitely a winner. Right, that is actually it for the accessories. Next up, clothes. First things first, I got this amazing jumper from Mink Pink, I believe. I got it in a Mink Pink sample sale. I'm just gonna say it, five pounds. Five diddly squat pounds. Now, if you can find me a jumper, not even Primark sells jumpers for five pounds that are this good of quality. I really like it. It's like a kind of retro feel to it. It's oversized, baggy, but still quite fitted. They've made it in a really good way where the sleeves are kind of bat wingish, but also nipped in at the waist. And I think it's a fantastic colour. I think very flattering for all shapes and sizes. If you have eaten a bit too much Christmas dinner, then it's good for hiding that. But also it's good to just throw on maybe over some shorts and some tights and some nice boots. Or you can just have it over some skinny jeans. It works with absolutely anything. And it's a bargain. Also, Mink Pink and... Um, what was the other one? Mink Pink and... Evil Twin. That's the one. Mink Pink and Evil Twin always have sample sales around London. So I will definitely always put up on my YouTube channel when they're having a sample sale. So you guys can uh, pop along and get something yourself. So that's that. And another thing I got from the sample sale, which I also adore, is this sheer sleeveless white and black shirt. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm not going to lie, this is one of those day to night outfit tops where you can wear it in the morning to work and then throw on some nice gold chunky like necklaces, some rings, throw on some wet look leggings and then you are set to go and just pair it with some heels. So daytime look, you've got this, maybe some light coloured jeans and some flats. At night time, throw on some wet look leggings, some heels, some gold jewellery and you're good to go. And this was £30. It's just such good quality and I've worn it and it's just delicious. It's absolutely delicious. And finally in the clothes, I've got this long black baroque print bodycon midi dress. Now I really was umming and ahhing when I was going to buy this because it's Primark and you don't always know the fit of something. But I bought it anyway, tried it on when I got home. Let me just show you the detail of that. Don't know why it's so fluffy, I think I put it next to a fluffy cardigan. And it fits beautifully. The only problem is really, is that it comes in quite 
in so your bra shows so maybe don't wear a different colour bra other than black because black is definitely the bra you need to wear with this or if you have no boobs definitely you could get away with not wearing a bra but I have boobs and it's you don't want to not wear a bra with this so it's absolutely brilliant pair it with any black leather jacket tights boom you're ready to go it's brilliant such a simple thing to throw on when you're not really sure of what you want to wear so that is all my clothes. Oh my god, my battery's gonna run out. Better make this quick. So, the next thing I bought was makeup. Now, I wanted a whole new makeup routine for winter. I just get that each season I decide to buy new makeup. And the first thing I bought was this MAC Mineralized Satin Finish SPF 15 Foundation. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had a love hate relationship with MAC. Sometimes I'm like, oh yes, it feels so beautiful. But I'm usually a bare minerals girl. I don't like to feel like my makeup's caked on. I like it to look quite natural, dewy, just, just a natural glow. But this, oh, mm, I absolutely adore this. Just a tiny bit on the brush, buff it in, and you have got a flawless look. So that is, again, the Mineralized Satin Finish SPF 15, and I got it in NC42. So if you're struggling to find a good foundation that's not too cakey, I would definitely advise this because the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural MAC Powder. Now this, with this, is like heaven in a pot. It's just heaven. This just really finishes the dewy look off. This is a medium dark. And if you want that flawless look without the cakiness, guys, this is definitely for you. You have finally not let me down, and I'm happy with that. And the, the Mac lady saw me coming, really, because I was like, I need new makeup. And she also sold me um, a brush set. Now, this is the packaging it comes in, and this is the box. I just find it so cute. I'm a sucker for good packaging. Even this day when I was in Superdrug, I just thought, oh, that looks nice. I didn't even really like it, but I was sucked in by the packaging. So this is the brush box that it comes in. And then it has this lovely little pouch. It's like a leopard print all over it. And then you open it up, and this is it inside. It's got a little pouch so you can put brushes in. And these are the brushes it comes with. So this is the first brush. These are the same brushes that the, um, they sell the big version at MAC, so it's not like any different, it's just a cheaper price. And this was, I think the brush set was £36. I use this for my powder, you can use it for your powder or foundation, and you just blend it in like that. And so this is the other one, so the lady said to me you could e use either really, it depends what how much of a flawless finish you want, so either use this one and just put it around your face or this one so you've got two foundation powder brushes and you've got two brushes here this one you can use for concealer or eyeshadow and same with this one so they're very versatile brushes so you get four brushes in a pack for 36 pounds which is a bargain for mac if you guys buy brushes then you know that one brush costs around 36 pounds in itself so it really does help to buy um, packages like this but the lady said to me that they only do this as a special offer at Christmas time for the rest of the year they never sell brushes in a pack so definitely go get this oh my ring definitely go get this if you want a good selection of brushes at an affordable price because I don't really like spending 36 pounds on a brush to be honest um next up on the makeup front I bought this mascara it's volume lash scandalous mascara extreme black from Rimmel now, when I got this, I was like, yes, I'm really excited because every art mascara I seem to use, it, it clumps up. And the only ones I've got that I really love are from Sephora in New York, and it's their own brand one, funnily enough. But it's extreme black, so blacker than black. And I don't know, I'm not really a fan. This is why I wanted to test things out before I did this haul. I think that... It doesn't go on beautifully and it clumps a lot even before you take it out you can see look I don't know if you can see that there's already loads on the edge and I just find that really annoying like I don't know so it's not really for me but it is blacker than black so maybe if you're looking for a mascara that is really dark this is the one but beware that it does 
it does um, clump up a little bit. Next up, I've got Sunbeam from Benefit. Now this, this is the Shiat. Now this is so good. In conjunction with this and this and this, your face is gonna be flawless. I don't care what skin you have, it's amazing. Now this Sunbeam is like this golden tone. Let me put it on my hand so if you can see that. I don't think you can that well, but it's this golden -y tone and you can just put it anywhere. You can put it, you can just put it anywhere. You can put it here on the side of your cheeks and just pat it in, down your nose, in the cleft bit here. And it just gives it that highlighting shine that you need. So when, if you're contouring where your cheekbones are and just your nose and you put a dab on, it really just brings them out and it just works beautifully. I mean, I've got all the products on now that I'm saying. So I've got the foundation, the powder and the sunbe and the, yeah, sunbeam. And I know the lighting's really bad but it's so sunny outside, but it just really gives that flawless finish. And finally, I've got my 128 Starry Eyes lipstick from Rimmel. Here it is there. And I've got it on my lips. Now what I love about lipsticks, it's so amazing how one tone can look like this on me, but completely different on someone else's skin tone. So this is a very deep, there you go, purpley um, lipstick. And what I love about this is it makes your teeth look so white. Well, I think even if you have the yellowest teeth, wear a dark lipstick and you are set. Everyone should go get it. It doesn't matter what skin tone you have. Brave the dark lipstick. I think that some people are a little bit worried about it. But like I said, pros gives you white, white teeth even if you don't have white teeth. Look at this. So brilliant. Two, it gives it that Christmassy feel. And three, if you're not really a big fan of a lot of eye makeup, then do the lips. Go, go big or go home. Get, get some dark lips on you and it will definitely make you stand out from the crowds. And it's absolutely great. Oh, and finally, I totally forgot. This is my second most favourite lipstick. It's 107 Kate Moss Rimmel Lipstick. It's a matte lipstick, which is great for me because I don't like shiny lipsticks. But if you do have quite dry lips, just whack on a lip gloss. It's absolutely fantastic. So multi-purpose. If you want a shiny lipstick, then put some lip gloss on top. But again, it's a dark lipstick, great for Christmas. And great if you don't like wearing eye makeup. So I definitely advise getting these two and if you want. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will come back with a gift haul very soon and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then definitely subscribe and give me the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, see you soon.